Hi everybody, welcome to Real Time and since it is coming close to Oscar season I thought it would be a good idea to try and see as many films that are nominated for the big awards as possible and kicking it all off is Mel Gibson's Hacksaw Ridge. The film tells the story of Desmond Doss played by Andrew Garfield who is a conscientious objector and he signs up for the uh, medical corps in the US Army and he's sent out to Japan to Okinawa and he manages to save the lives of 75 men on top of Hacksaw Ridge which is where a lot of the notorious uh, battles took place and it is a pretty amazing story to be honest I mean if you leave the uh, the actual film aside it is a fantastic story about how a guy managed to save that many people on the battlefield without carrying a gun is just extraordinary the main draw for the film for me is the action sequences. It's fair to say Mel Gibson doesn't hold back when it comes to the action sequences. There is a lot of graphic imagery. Uh, a lot of the stuff really made me think of Saving Private Ryan because that had a lot of graphic imagery in it. Although at times I feel Mel Gibson may have gone a little over the top with it. It's like there's this one shot where it's... It kind of felt like something that you'd put in Lord of the Rings where it's like a sword battle. It's like the two sides come together and the camera kind of pulls back and you just get endless soldiers sort of clattering into each other. And I just kind of thought to myself, they kind of have guns. <laughs> They're kind of like range weapons. And yeah, although the action was pretty impressive, at times I felt it was a little over the top. And admittedly, there were a few shots for me which looked pretty cheap like i remember seeing it in the trailer there's a shot of um the whole of hacksaw ridge and the uh thousands of japanese soldiers are advancing on the americans and you can blatantly tell that it's an entirely cgi army and it isn't really done that well as well as this there are also moments where the americans call in artillery strikes and the battleships in the movie they are very blatantly cgi ships like i'm pretty sure there aren't any shots of any humans on these ships and yeah it, it looks pretty cheap and there were scenes where uh Garfield's character uh, Doss he's um he's winching the soldiers down this uh, this cliff and it is so blatant that uh, Andrew Garfield's on a green screen and it's not the greatest green screen I've ever seen but the film did cost 40 million dollars to make and Saving Private Ryan cost 60 million dollars in the mid to early 90s so you could say Gibson was working off of a limited budget and given what he had to work with, he made a uh, very good set of action sequences. They, they did well on that part. Speaking of the actual directing of this film, uh, given it's Mel Gibson, I'd say there was nothing really wrong with it. It's pretty competently shot. The pacing's quite good. But yeah, Mel Gibson's still an asshole. On to the cast now. Andrew Garfield does a very good job in the lead role, although his performance kind of put me in mind of Forrest Gump. Like, when he started talking, and he, he's kind of dressed like Forrest Gump as well at times. I just expect him at one point to say something like, life was like a box of chocolates. You know, something like that. Um, Hugo Weaving is amazing as his dad, but to be fair, what, what else do you expect from Hugo Weaving? He's just amazing. Teresa Palmer plays uh, Doss's love interest and eventually his wife, and she does a very good job in the role. Uh, you have Vince Vaughn and Sam Worthington playing um, respective soldiers in Doss's regiment. Uh, Vince Vaughn puts in a good performance. It's good to see him in uh, in a good film for a change, and he does make a uh, an entertaining drill sergeant when he's dressing down all of his troops. It's quite got quite some funny dialogue in there, and Sam Worthington, you know. Pretty solid performance, you know, you, ex you expect as much from him. All in all, I would say it is a very solid um, war film. Albeit, I did a bit of research and apparently some aspects of the film kind of over-exaggerate what actually happened in real life. For instance, in the film, Hacksaw Ridge is portrayed as this enormous cliffside that they have to climb up and... In reality, it was about a third of the size of that, and it was just like a hill they had to climb up. So, 
I suppose if someone had seen the film and then they went to the actual location it happened, they'd probably find it <laughs> quite disappointing that, oh, it's not actually that tall. Because in the, in the film, it looks like something out of Game of Thrones and it looks quite imposing. So yeah, that's a shame that they kind of took some liberties with that. And apparently uh, some of the actual battle sequences were kind of glorified or Hollywoodified, but I wasn't there, so I can't really say one way or another. All I can say is the action is very non-stop. It's very, it doesn't pull any punches. And yeah, it's just a good war film. Yeah, that's how I'd sum it up. It's a very good war film. So uh, I would give Hacksaw Ridge a very solid 8 out of 10. And uh, I would definitely recommend it, not just to see like a like a big action movie, but just to see this amazing story. Because 75 men without firing a gun, that is quite extraordinary. And it is worth seeing it just for that story. So I hope you enjoyed this review. And until next time, see you later.